What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna make another social media post. Um, our concentration will be on about a plant, like a store. We're gonna create like something um, minimal, a minimal post. Uh, for sure there's like a, so we're gonna break it down. We're gonna be using a layout that is like half half like a grid so this is going to be the image so we're going to put the yeah, this is image and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna put the logo right here uh the text will be right here and then some a little bit of a content um a little bit of a small fine prints in here so we're, what we're gonna use is the 1080 by 1080 pixels. I'm gonna be using 150 uh, PPI or DPI uh, just to make it more crispy or more higher quality um, after we render it. So we're going to hit create. The one I'm using is gonna be our color palette. Uh, we're gonna be using a dummy logo. We're gonna use Apple logo actually. Actually, this formula has actually been there since forever. Uh, all you have to do is to recreate it and put the brand or any your brand that you're working on so it doesn't look like it's fabricated or been copied. So use your own font, uh, your color, and uh, that's it. I already have an image uh, ready, so you can go to Unsplash or if you have a uh, like a photo ready, you can. Uh, that will be a great idea, so it doesn't look like stock. What we're gonna do first is to add the background. So under a background color, uh, we're gonna use this color palette that I pre-selected. This is gonna be the photo that I selected. It goes with the uh, the background color or the other half. But feel free to, it depends on what you're doing. So I guess uh, okay. this would work for me. Uh, just a little problem with the picture is it's not symmetrical. So what we're gonna do, because uh, this is the edge of the canvas that we're working on. So I wanna make sure that it has a space in here. It doesn't really necessarily like half half. Uh, you make a choice, but I think this would work just fine. So the axis somewhere right here, what I'm going to do is to get the selection. This is selection. Uh, we're going to go rectangle and then we're going to just remove this uh, part here. So it has a balance in between right here. Uh, so that we're going to invert it and then come to the layer panel we're going to mask it. So this part is being, you know, removed. And then we're gonna select, actually deselect it. And then this looks great already. What we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna insert, we're actually going to, we're gonna turn it on. Just, we have a good, you know, for the alignment. So the next one I'm going to do is to insert. I'm going to be using Apple's logo here just for fun. So we're going to make sure that we have a good alignment. So I think we can leave it like two blocks and two blocks right here. We're going to recolor the logo. So make sure that you're on the, uh, the layer of the logo. We're going to go to adjustment, hue, saturation, brightness. Gonna go layer and then from the brightness right here we're going to make it all the way to 100 so it turns into white otherwise it goes to the opposite and we want white so it has a good contrast with the background and then we're gonna insert some text so from the action add a text so we're just gonna insert the dummy text and we're gonna put a white text color and we're gonna delete that we're gonna put we're gonna put it right here we're positioning it in this alignment right here and we're gonna make sure it's white and ready to make sure that it's uh, on the left side 
it's easier to read if it's aligned uh, to the left. Um, so we're gonna put We're gonna make it semi bold and we're gonna make it more interesting. Like the offsets in this area right here. So it's more interesting, right? Instead of just confined on the part right here, we're just gonna fix the text. Deselect it and select all. We're gonna fix. Uh, the letting, the spacings are not that good. A little bit of text. All right, so this text right here, it's gonna be just a little, it's just a mini text, like um, subheading. So we're gonna make it smaller. Light, you don't see that. And then we're gonna decrease the, uh, the text or we can actually uh, remove the drawing right so you can see what's what we're dealing with I think the logo is pretty big I'm just gonna make it a little bit more smaller we're gonna modify the, the title I will actually make it bold 20% off smaller here we have make it like in the center I think that that catches your attention right here because it's not like ordinary post it has a flow and uh, so share jpeg save we go to my dummy Instagram just to see how it looks when we post it I think it will catch your attention if you are scrolling your feed and you see this it looks it looks stunning and the color a contrast is is good it has look at this it has a good contrast compared to this if you check this out it has a bit of contrast but it's not as um contrast with this white and dark color so that usually is good and you can put your uh, like um, content right here so this is a good pose for sure and i hope you learn from this video and uh, see you later